and what is up guys it's Kovian here and welcome to autoplane so this is my first try after the changes so if you guys do not know the game has gone through some early game changes in order to test these early game changes i made a new account yesterday and i only played for five hours so today is the second day but i've only you know been in here for one day again not even a full day only five hours and that's kind of important just to see what has happened um so far right like so far throughout my logging in i mean new accounts there's always gonna be popping up here popping up there day two more summons yes sir you love to see it <clears throat> season two okay but anyway guys um just to give you a background so i made a new account because i want to test out the the new the new experience of the new player i played for five hours and i was able to make it to adventure adventure episode five right i finished episode four uh, i saw i was starting to struggle and then i did episode five <clears throat> did i re-roll not really my plan was to re-roll but i ended up not re-rolling because i was i was struck by fortune <laughs> fortune was with me but for those who want to re-roll um i'll start with the re-roll process and i'll go to a different website for that but before we get deep into that please for me click the like button subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get the videos as they come in quickly so let's move now to the reroll process all right so the website i'm on now is outerplane.wiki it has a couple of guys as you guys can see here reroll hero shard routine skill books and stuff like that so i'm mainly here today for the reroll guy because some people would want to see what is the best start basically right and this does just encompasses it like very very beautifully so for support you either want valentine or tamara right these are all you want for damage dealers you want a noah or i mean i guess noah or er or ame not really rin i don't subscribe to the rin love i guess <laughs> like noah er or ame definitely good candidates if you get them while summoning and the best debuffer in the game um allowing you to deal a bunch of damage and move like she is amazing eternal and that's why like right now it's the best to get it it's the best time to get it right <clears throat> so there's also this thing um the starter dash as i was saying is best to get your targets from the starter dash being valentine noah or eternal i'll tell you a strategy that i do basically and one other quote that i'd like to mention about the starter dash is that um so the starter dash basically is a banner that you can rotate into like getting um what's this like you need to rotate like you can pick your best 10 pull It'll always have one five star and it's it's either of these plus rin yes it's either valentine noah eternal or rin as the third one but yeah i like that it's not she's not included here even though she's here <laughs> i don't know why she's here <laughs> but um yeah rin is the third one so the best way to do it is to get a banner with your chosen one either valentine or noah or eternal and then make sure that the banner has the two star unit dolly dolly is gonna be clutch for you <laughs> and then from the beginning from the very start you're gonna get a veronica free and then a teo free so let's jump back to my account and tell you and and sort of like you know expand on this idea but remember you need a support either tamara or vero or sorry or valentine you need a dps mostly noah here out of all of these and then you need eternal so let's move back to my account okay so looking at my account here is my hero pool as you see there's no valentine and this is what i did i summoned with the first 20 summons we got and i got tamara so if you guys remember on the previous one you either get tamara or valentine 
so i got one of those which means since i have tomorrow valentine i did the star dash and got noah right i did the star dash and got noah that's the best way to do it now i have tamara valentine veronica tio this team these four units tamara veronica noah and tio are enough to clear the whole story at least the whole of season one easy and hard right now i'm gonna need another unit the one unit that i need above all right now is eternal and this is why i i i took a, a a role that didn't have dolly because i'm not gonna need dolly since i got tomorrow there you go uh as you see my account i don't actually have dolly but i actually do have dolly i'm lying so i summoned dolly when i was summoning tamara probably <laughs> but when i did my star dash i just got um extra copy of to basically to make a six star very quickly and that is the game plan right so that's what i got um just to take you back to the let's do that yes so this is the reroll stuff again you want to get either veronica or tamara i got a tamara i got a noah i need eternal i have these two and the reason why i need eternal and eventually i have a fire team is because of chimera so if you go to challenge and you open this the best team for chimera is a fire team and eternal is just great in both chimera tower and story mode so and now i have summons i have summons and there's an eternal banner going on so this is why it's so great to reroll not to reroll to start now if you go to event and you go to the yes veronica supplies on the first day you're gonna get this 20 summons right this is when after you do everything you clear story stage one four you're gonna get these 20 summons and like some crystals you're gonna recruit on the normal banner you're going to summon 20 times and in those 20 summons you need to get and i repeat in those 20 summons you need to get either noah valentine eternal or or uh, i guess you can look you can search for her uh. and if you get veronica or tamara from this normal banner you can then use the starter dash to get a noah now here comes the other one as soon as you finish the starter dash you're gonna get for 27 days an elemental one and this one as you can see here every one of these have two meta units right here it actually has uh, it has eternal it has valentine i currently have none of these units here it has main it has tamara it has rain very usable laplace is also usable beth is kind of usable actually the blue one's looking tasty this one has noah it has notia pretty good siren i guess alice so noah notia siren alice hundredly like all these none of these units are actually bad but as a new player you're trying to get your pvp your pve in check before pvp so i think since you already have noah you risk the chance of getting a noah already right um if you got a valentine i would then start summoning on this one and get uh tamara and mene those is gonna be great but for me I'm going to summon right now and then we're gonna see if we get eternal I have 40 summons if we get eternal going for the fire one is quite risky because I have her I'm gonna get eternal and yeah like I'd rather have like a, another Veronica or an her <laughs> so I don't know I don't know actually let's let's summon first and see what we get basically but before we summon we're gonna summon towards the end let me just give you a slight update i haven't done really much right uh this is open that is open this is open i haven't done them yet i'm yet to do them i only did this one because i'm currently just following the missions uh, if you guys want like helper missions you can go to mission and then there's guide quests i'm currently following these guide quests they give you summons as you can see there just give you a lot of um resources so it's always healthy to just follow these 
I'm about to start with the ecology study things and then move on to area five, clear area five. So forth, so forth, right? So that's that. That was day one. That's how far I got with all of that, right? Um, for now, I'm gonna summon again. I told you I'm gonna be digging for eternal. And here I'm gonna be digging for anything that's there to be dig. Your crystals. Do not use your summons for crystals. Wait till you clear story stage 10. And you're gonna use all of your crystal summons on the damage banners. I can't show you the damage banner yet because it's not open but trust me do not touch your crystals do not touch your crystals because you get enough summons let me show you how much summons you get right you're gonna get five summons from this event here in four days <laughs> right uh not this one the veronica today i got 20 tomorrow i'm gonna get 30 summons that's already a lot as you clear the story season two you get summons i'm a growth you get summons daily this one you're gonna get teo and crystals save your crystals this one gives you a ton of summons there's summons here there's veronica there there's summons here there's summons here and then there's gonna be a summon next right so do not use the summons here like there's there's a bunch of summons for new players there's a bunch of summons for new players do not use your crystals for summoning not yet and then there's a three star selector i will deal with it when we get there basically i need to clear hard mode story if you clear hard mode story you're gonna get a selector so you can pick anyone i'm hoping to pick an ur here or, or something <clears throat> along those lines so if you guys are summoning and there is um not an eternal so let's say there is no eternal right because now eternal is gonna leave on 11 21 let's say you are coming in for the anniversary and it's not november it's after november 21st 2023 then here the easiest selection would be this one would be the fire banner whereby you can get eternal you can get uh, you can get Aste, pretty good or valentine depending on if you already have a tomorrow right so that's what i think is the best option um if you go for a valentine in your start dash and maybe you get noah while normal summoning i would go for the blue one basically so that's the account um i haven't moved much in terms of story stage and stuff like that so we'll do the summons and then we'll discuss my plan how we move forward right so holding my breath hopefully i get something good give me legendary legendary okay let it be veron let it no not veronica please no valentine <laughs> let it be valentine let it be someone useful eternal just that i can like skip the eternal banner i guess not you not the three star not the three star that's just the two star that's the three star who is it You've got some guts for a recruit. Wait, is that a Tamara again? No, it's Veronica. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, that sucks. We get her for free, boys. Yikes. That, that's a feels bad. Like, as a new player, dupes do nothing for you guys. Like, as a new player, what you want is a diverse cost. Like, the more units you get the better like as a new player dupes are completely useless utterly useless okay another five star back to back what is this luck what is this luck give me eternal here i don't have to go into the eternal banner i can even summon for drakan i haven't spoken much about drakan right because drakan is not really generally the oh no okay it's green who is it it's siren all right i mean not too thrilled that it's siren but i mean i can't cry i'll use her in the future as i said you want the wide variety it's a new three star so that's great you want a variety of units 
on your team and now it makes it such that i will never actually pick this one now because i already have Siren and uh and noah i'll never pick this so as i say just wait till the end before you pick this one right before you pick this one before you pick like anything you still have 27 days so just just wait it out um these ones are finished i'm going 40 deep into the eternal banner 40 deep let's do it if i get eternal i can go to the elemental very quickly give me eternal here that's not the eternal banner skip all right show me eternal <laughs> show me eternal no i wasted my luck on the previous banner yikes nothing is even new here dude i might have to mileage out eternal oh my god the shaft okay listen listen okay i got a cindy a powerhouse of a unit cindy is a powerhouse of a unit you love to see it for later on of course damn it look it's it's looking like the fire banner is gonna be where i'm gonna go especially just being dunked on by the eternal banner come on bro yep <laughs> the banner dunked on me hey you have a layla <laughs> crap okay i'm gonna gather more summons and came come back i got a siren and uh yeah not really what i'm looking for right now christina not really what i'm looking for but i have it it's it's a right now thing now again i know i said about i i spoke about just opening up yourself to getting more new units as opposed to old ones as opposed to dupes right but it is also important to realize that resources are are strained in the middle like if i try to enhance this hero here i'm not gonna take it that far resources are very limited in the in the beginning you want a nice core four and that's why this four is the best core right the tamara could be a valentine that's one core support your noah uh could be a rain i guess if you're that type of guy <laughs> it's a core your tio could be an eternal it's a core veronica is just veronica it's another core so that's just that in terms of trust level you want tio's web um exclusive equipment first this is the one you're gonna get first no doubt right this is the one because it counters a lot of the early veronicas on the on the pvp ladder you you do the tier one and that's the plan so what's the plan now first first thing get tier weapon that's the first thing second thing finish the first story adventure so finish the normal story you are gonna unlock the damage banner and all the crystals that you've been getting you're gonna unload all of them on the damage banner because you want to get Aste and potentially the next one that is coming and then you want to steadily climb up the sky tower it will happen organically and to help you sort of um go through the game i think the guide quests are still far and beyond better than anything they not only give you gear they also also give you resources and then this is the best way to just move forward they show you what you are gonna like if you can if you can reach sky tower 5 you can beat normal story 4 5 like they know they made this game they're methodical like that right like look at this here if you can beat ecology stage 1 they know that you can beat normal story 5 5 and this is how you can gauge your progress much better than you your mind can right and um i'll speak on following days on what you're supposed to do but the first day you have to figure out one thing re-roll get the characters as i mentioned 
you guys can go visit the website i'm gonna pull it up again uh it's made by a dude who is part of the there's the website so i'm gonna pull up the website again <clears throat> and it's made by a guy who is part of the discord for auto playing you can hit him up i guess there's a discord link there and he's trying he's still making it in all of these are very very good resources so you guys can just give him a look um if you go to like dungeons like chimera here floor 12 which is the last one here are those heroes that, that i said you should re-roll for right you see veronica you see her you see eternal you see tio already and floor 12 of any unidentified chimera team is the end game it is the end game so yeah that's why you want those uh units but again i'll leave the link to this website in the description of every video for this series because i think it is crucial for new players to know this but with that being said i have been kovian thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video deuces